just kind of remind us as to why this little fella is now no longer in the jungle. So we spoke about this on Monday's show, didn't we? He goes in the jungle and at that point, and only at that point, by the way, myself and other journalists become aware of a whole load of tweets that he has sent many years before as a teenager, some of which use the N-word, mm. some of which use homophobic slurs, including the F-word, uh, which I don't want to use this no, morning, and also another horrible word um, used to describe disabled people. And at that point, obviously, there become more and more stories. Mm. People are looking into his past, other rumours about what's going on and that sort of thing. And so last night, mutually, the decision is made by ITV and his representatives that they need to get him out. Mm. Partly, I think, because he doesn't know all of this is going on, right. but also partly because of the controversy around it. Right. OK, it's, it's interesting, this, because, you know, producers will not do something like this lightly. You know, there, there, there has to be yes. very, very good reason for, for this to happen. Um, now, he's, he's obviously will be here to defend himself when he gets on that plane and, and yes. comes over here and he can talk about it. And we don't know the state of his mind when he was doing this, you know, when he was sending these silly, silly tweets. But for somebody that has earned his living yeah. on social media, there's an irony, isn't there, that it actually yes. could wreck his career? Well, because he's a YouTuber, obviously. I think there's a couple of things I want to say about this, because sure. I've obviously received a lot of abuse you from his indeed. friends and fans yes. on Twitter over the last 24 hours. I think there's a huge irony in that, mm. you know, bullying tweets about bullying tweets. Now, yeah. there is a backstory to this, I'm sure. I've spoken to Jack's people and people close to him throughout this whole time, and he says that in these tweets, he was responding to someone who was bullying him. We also have an open offer to Jack to talk to me, to talk to you, sure. to come on the show, on the phone, however he wants to do it to explain exactly what was mm -hmm. going through his head. I do have to say something, though. We all know the use of the N-word is totally unacceptable. But you know what? So is the use of the F word, even as a 16-year-old. And I would say especially as a 16-year-old. Yeah. I was someone who was homophobically bullied with that word throughout my entire time at school by people who were 16. Mm. I know anecdotally that is a word that is still used in schools by young boys, mainly, to bully young gay teenagers on a daily basis. Right. The use of that word in that context, it's just not acceptable in any way. No, no, and so I think, yes, everyone deserves a second chance in life, absolutely. Everyone makes mistakes. The big problem here is that Jack was in the jungle. No one had any idea that this was going to come out before he went into the jungle. Yeah. So he didn't have an opportunity to explain Indeed. what went on. But it just on. shows you, you have to be so careful. This new generation, that I didn't have this when I was mm. 16, obviously, um, but you've mm. got to be so careful. What you put out there is there forever. I know. And, and look, it's always going to be and, and there. I mean, and I feel come and so sorry for this generation who are haunted by their lives on the internet and Google search results and things I've posted on Twitter years and years mm. ago. I get that. I understand. You know what? I've spoken to people close to Jack who say he He's got loads of close friends who are gay. He's lived with someone who was gay. I don't believe for a second that Jack is a homophobic person. Let's just get that straight. Sure. It's more about the fact that, like we've all come to accept that now you cannot use the N-word in day-to-day -day life, mm. something he needs to learn too, yep. you also cannot use the F word as a gay slur in day-to-day -day life. Mm. It has an impact. Those words matter. And we all do have to think about we, what we put on social media. Absolutely. None of us are perfect, though. Absolutely not. But you don't put something on there that you wouldn't want to say to your mother. Yeah. You know, you, you really wouldn't. There have been statements, haven't there? Exactly. And do you know what? They've been pretty honest about okay. it, actually. Jack's representatives have said over the last few days he's been subject to a succession of media stories, which, given his position as a a contestant filmed in Australia with no contact with the outside world, he has been unable to respond. Since it is only fair that everyone should be aware of any allegations made against them and should also have the right to defend themselves, it was agreed that it would be better to bring him out of the show. Mm. And ITV said last night that due to circumstances outside camp, Jack has had to withdraw mm. from the show. And look, can I just say, you know, I have nothing 
personal against Jack. I actually feel really sorry for him. This was a huge opportunity to go on this show to make a career. No, for sure, but, but it depends on how he deals with it, Dan. Exactly. It depends on how he deals with exactly. it now, what he's actually going to say now, because this could make or break him. It actually could end up making him... Because I didn't know who he was before mm. he went in. I mean, I think a lot of people of my age mm. wouldn't know who he is if you're not following him. Absolutely. But maybe now, depending on how he deals with it, and I hope he gets you know, yeah. proper advice, um, it could actually... Because all out. of these old tweets have been coming out from Zoella as well, the other YouTuber over the last yeah. week, and it's just like, let's learn a lesson from this, let's think about our language, because the language that you use online, and everyone's saying these things to me online oh, you're at the moment, you're horrible would you like come that. up to me in the street and say that to my face? If you wouldn't, don't write it. And don't use the F word. And don't use the N-word, exactly. especially if you're in school and dealing with kids that are going through a difficult thing. Dan, I know how passionate you are about it. Thank you for Thank coming you. in this morning. It was really good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. And I hope it, I hope it does work out. For him. Like I say, it's down to him now, balls in his court.